Hello and welcome to the Talon 1 Radar and Option Tutorial. Today I'm going to be teaching guys how to avoid radar guided munitions. How radar notching works is when flying 90 degrees in relation to a missile's path, you'll be now sh you'll now show up as ground clutter from said munition. Okay, as we can see, we got the munition coming at us. We're going to fly 90 degrees in relation to it. Just keep flying. As you can see, we are now blind to the incoming straddle lance and this incoming straddle lance. This is because when you are 90 degrees in relation to where it's flying, you are now going to be picked up as ground clutter instead of an aircraft. Because the munition has to be able to, essentially, has to be able to distinguish between ground clutter and real aircraft. And when you're flying 90 degree, degrees in relation to its path, you are now being picked up as ground clutter because I'm no longer to the radar's guidance system. I'm no longer moving away from it and I'm no longer moving towards it. Looks like we have more incoming from our left here. So, as you can see, to get that 90 degrees, I'm going to want to bank right. Bank right, bank right, bank right, bank right, bank right, bank right, bank right. And, oh, those were actually intercepted. But as you see, you want to line up that, that 90 degrees on the incoming munitions. So we have more incoming munitions here see where they're coming in from. I have a feeling they're coming off to our left. There we go. They're either intercepted or we're notching them currently. Oh, it looks like we are notching them. So as you can see, flying 90 degrees in relation to the missile's path. That was coming, that was coming straight for us before. Okay, we have another radar guided, guided munition inbound. So what we're going to do is we're going to make a slight right bank, slight right bank. And right there we have now just notched the missile again. As you can see, flying in this 90 degree path stops the radar munitions from being able to see you. So you are now being deciphered as ground player. So let's bank left, bank left, bank left, bank left, bank left, bank left. And right there, we are now being notched by this radar. And we're now notching the radar. I'm just gonna fly exactly how we were before. No worries, we got some more incoming, but for now we're going to just chill because those are pretty far away. There we go, those missed. We're gonna make a slight left turn, slight right turn, I mean. Slight right, slight right, okay. We're now notching these missiles. We have more incoming from our, from our right. That's okay. We're gonna use the radar jammer. Utilizing your radar jammer, it's gonna have to reacquire. Okay, notch those. Now what we're gonna do? Okay, looks like the other ones are gone as well. Yep, and that's gonna be the radar notching tutorial for you guys today. Oh, we got one more actually. Let's go ahead, counter this for you guys. As you can see, it's coming in from our bottom. We're gonna go nine, slowly 90. Okay, turned a little bit too far. I'm gonna turn right, there we go. Sit right there in that Goldilocks zone. We're now being picked up as ground clutter to the radar ammunition instead of an aircraft. Flying not away. And we're not flying closer to said radar ammunition. So we're not being picked up as ground clutter. And boom. That guys is how you avoid radar missiles by utilizing radar notching. Have a good one.